This video is made for you if you are new to the fragrance game. I'm going to show y'all 25 fragrances that y'all must get just to even start your collection and smell good. Let's get into it. I'm a big tipper. Nobody gonna get rich quicker. From the land, ain't no city bigger. Foreign cars pulling in a villa. Who's smelling good? I'm that nigga. The very first fragrance you should buy, you should always know, is that you want to pick up a version of Dior Sauvage. Fresh, everyday scent. Whenever you start your collection, this is the first one you get. Everybody know that. The second fragrance you want to pick up is a version of Blue de Chanel. This is another alternative, everyday scent that's kind of similar to Dior Sauvage, but it's more woodier more masculine okay so you gotta get this one blue de chanel or you gotta get dior sauvage pick up them both in your collection my version i like to get is parfum another great fragrance y'all can pick up is john paul goutier or goutier i don't know ultra mall okay this fragrance is great for clubbing if you're going out to the club you want to pick this up this is great for a beginner's collection john paul goutier ultra mall Another fragrance that should be in any man's collection is Versace Eros. Now, there's three different versions of Versace Eros. Make that, make that four versions because they got the flame. I'm not talking about the flame today. We're talking about the blue version, the original. My favorite version is Eau de Parfum. Just like I told you about the John Paul Goutier Ultra Mall, this is great for clubbing as well. Good scent for, you know what I'm saying, teenagers, a dude that's on the prowl. Another great alternative everyday scent that can kind of slide into pick up girls or picking up a chick range, you know what I'm saying? And when I say pick up a chick, I mean this is a fragrance that you can use if you're trying to get compliments and you want to get a girl's attention. It's Versace Dylan Blue, okay? This is very spicy, fresh, head turner. This is the best spicy fresh scent they got on the market. Another fragrance beginners can get is Dolce Gabbana, the one. This is going to start out your date night fragrances. You want to wear this when you're going out with a lady. You want to go out and smell good. This don't last that long, okay? About two hours. So hopefully your date lasts about an hour. If it lasts about an hour, you enter with this. But if you want to take her back to the bedroom, you got to reapply. Another fragrance that should be in every man's collection is the granddaddy, the king of all fragrances. Creed Aventus, okay? You can either get the cologne or the regular Aventus. I prefer the Aventus because they're more darker and more richer. It's not as light as the cologne. And plus, the cologne it really, really reminds me of the Chanel. You know what I mean? The Lord's Sport. I always get the Sport instead of the cologne. This baby right here, this smells really good. Lasts a long time. It's a DNA that a lot of people are familiar with, but this should be a staple in every beginner's collection. This is your first crack at a niche fragrance. Another great fragrance that should be in every man fragrance, uh, fragrance collection should be the uh, Dior Homme Tense, okay? Everybody know Dior Homme Tense is probably top three or maybe top two longest lasting scents. So this is like purely bang for your buck. If you just want to smell like uh, um, spicy lipstick kind of smell, iris, flowers, really, really good pick up this baby right here if you want a fragrance that's a bang for your book that when you spray it on you don't have to reapply because it lasts all day do your own intense another fragrance that's really good for a beginner's collection is polo's blue you know what i'm saying my favorite might be polo blue parfum you know what i'm saying or polo deep blue there's a lot of different polo blues right but Polo Blue, just go to the store, pick out your favorite. Polo Blue is a great fragrance to have in your collection. Kind of smells like shower gel, that's what everybody be saying. But you know, Polo Blue came out before they came out with the shower gel scent that's inside shower gel. So shower gel copied this fragrance. This was the original shower gel fragrance before they got copied. Another fragrance you should have in the beginner's collection is CK1. This smells like fresh linen, fresh laundry. Smells really, really good. Also, this is a bang for your buck. $40, $50 is great for you just to kind of dabble in when you don't want to spend too much money. Another fragrance you should get if you don't want to spend too much money is Nautica Voyage, okay? Smells like cucumbers, smells real good. You can find it for $20. Great pickup from my Walmart. Another great fragrance is David Off Cool Water, okay? Smells like seaweed, smells like a beach. Fresh, fresh, fresh. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Creed Green Iris Tweed. That's the only reason I ain't put that on the list because they both smell similar. This is $20, Green Iris Tweed is 300. 
so you can kind of tell why I said to get David off cool water. So if you want to smell like $300, you pick this up. Another great smelling scent that should be in everybody's collection is Valentino Yumo, Born in Roma, okay? Great scent. Now, they have Born in Roma Intense. I'm gonna say just whatever version you like. When you go to the store, smell both, you pick your favorite, that's your preference, but you need a Valentino in your collection. My favorite is Coral Fantasy. Everybody's favorite is Born in Roma. I know some people that like Born in Roma Intense. Nobody can make their mind up. So go there and you pick what side you gonna go on. I like Coral Fantasy. Two great scents you can also pick up the SEO collection that's must buys for your beginner collection is either Dolce Gabbana, the one, um, not Dolce Gabbana, the one, Dolce Gabbana light blue or light blue intense. Light blue intense, in my opinion, smells better, lasts longer, but some people might like the subtlety and uh, freshness that the original light blue get. And it's a classic and it won some awards back in 2007 for being the top fragrance of that time. So pick which one you want to get. Light blue is a great, great fragrance. They also got light blue um, summer vibes coming soon. Another great scent for your beginner collection. I cannot stress this enough. This is, you know, this is all the most wanted. I don't really got to talk about this too much. Just go fucking pick it up. I'm not about to argue. Another fragrance you should have in your collection is Why Sell Why Eau de Parfum. This is another one of them fresh scents I really don't want to sit here and explain. You just go get this. This is not really an argument. Everybody has to have this in their collection. If you don't, you really ain't got no collection. Pick up your Y, it's just kind of how it is. Now, don't get all the Ys. Just pick your favorite, it's five of them, or like six, you know what I'm saying? So just pick your favorite one when you're in the store and run with it. Why? Now, let's talk about this Prada Ocean. Prada Ocean, yes, baby. Now. Now it's two Prada Oceans out. We got the Eau de Parfum and we got the Toilette. The Eau de Parfum just came out. Yes, just go ahead and go get it. It smells real good. I think y'all going to love that over this because that's more intense and a tad bit sweeter. This right here still smells good. Everybody was picking this up before Eau de Parfum even came out, right? So it's a toss up. When you in Dillard's, smell both, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, the Eau de Parfum is killing it right now. Speaking of Prada, you can also get Prada Black. Yes, Prada Black smells so damn good, okay? This is a spicy, sweet fragrance, kind of like Dior Sauvage Elixir, okay? This is also a date night fragrance. You want to go on a date, smell real good, hanky-panky, you know what to do. Another fragrance I say go pick up is One Million Lucky, the freshest, sexiest fragrance in the line. My favorite is One Million Parfum, but One Million Lucky is here by far like, the best fragrances that like, this is everybody's favorite one million. You gotta have a one million in your collection, especially if you watch on my channel. Please don't make me mad. Please, just go pick it up. Another great fragrance you can have in your collection is Paco Rebond Platinum. Great, okay? This kind of reminds me of Bad Boy Cobalt. You can also add it to your collection as well. But Invictus, oh my God, smells so damn good. I just like the uniqueness on how this smells. This don't smell like no other Invictus. I don't even know why they called it Invictus. They should have just made this a new line, but you know they got to like seal bottles. Pick up Burberry Touch, woody, fresh, cheapy, $40. Shouldn't have to explain that too much, but you go and find this probably at TJ Maxx or you can go on fragrance.net.com, pick some of this. You can either get Spice Bomb Extreme or you can get Cremos spice and black vanilla that smells just like it this costs 20 dollars. the other one costs 120 so yeah put it in your collection smell good you in there two more great scents that i feel like you should put in your collection that's in the niche realm is killian's um angel share it smells like a cinnamon apple pie great looker okay you can just have this on your shelf and girls will just be like what the hell is that does it just look expensive look like it smell like a whole bunch of money also paw farm the Maldives latent oh my god sweet spicy sexy great for the winter time these two fragrances bangers but over 200 dollars last three fragrances i'm gonna talk about is picking up the allure on um, sport okay this is kind of like a really iconic fragrance just kind of got to pick it up just to have in your collection it's fresh it's sexy it's lemony smells real good also you want to pick up aqua di joe okay anyone you can pick up the perfumo the profondo whatever you want to get my version right here is the perfumo okay incense notes it's watery notes it's like incense water it smells really good lastly but not least we have ralph club's parfum 
them are the fragrances that you should have in your collection just to start out okay once you start with them fragrances then you can start branching out and start just getting whatever you kind of want to get just so you can smell a little different okay i love y'all this big boss if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe y'all take it easy y'all stay smelling good and making me look good okay i'm out